You're the light of the world. You step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Listen. When you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you are in a position where you will remain in darkness forever. Jesus himself told us why he sent us the spirit of truth. Not just to pray gibberish in tongues. No. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us men of God. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us pastors. The Holy Ghost was sent as the opener of the sealed book to guide you into all truth. The book is there but it must be opened by the wisdom and the intelligence of one who is not human. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. First Corinthians chapter 2. Please give it to us. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Read with me, please. Everyone is projected. Just read and then you write it down. One, two, read. Uh huh. Not the spirit of the world. Stop in any case you must receive a spirit so there is the spirit of the world that inspires men and opens codes for men based on the laws of life and they can manipulate it and get some results and god is saying so that when you are inspired you don't think it's the same thing that inspired someone somewhere there are two spirits there is the spirit of the world a man tells you he was just sitting down and he made a discovery it's a lie nobody makes a discovery a spirit comes to you and opens up a portal of a reality and then you quickly scrabble it and walk around it and the whole world marvels and they call you albert einstein and they call you michael faraday and they call you the right brothers the bible is saying there is no such thing as just a human invention by yourself it's not true a spirit must come to you and open up what is sealed but the spirit which is of god why that we may know the things that are freely given to us of god there are things that are freely given so says the book but the spirit of god the spirit of truth comes and opens you so that you will now comprehend and then you walk in the reality the light of it and my brother my sister your life will suddenly change in a way and manner your family members will look at you and say what charm what did you touch look at this come promise if by next week promise suddenly enters a dimension of the anointing a dimension of revelation and let's assume five jeeps come from different people around the world and is parked in front of his house nobody will say promise so you are this hard working someone will call and say promise come where did you go to who did you meet we know that the arm of flesh cannot produce that result who assisted you just tell me and you say well it's a long story are you ready to do what? i say i'm ready now it's okay meet me by 11 30. let's go to one corner somewhere so everyone knows you would be you would be unwise to see what god is doing through my life and this ministry and believe it's just hard work no no what more do you need to see to convince you no man can do these things except a spirit be with him with god all things are possible without him on your own there are things that are not possible many of us have been fighting alone do listen to what i'm telling you and you will watch your life change in a way that will surprise you i kept thinking about this and i said lord look at what you've done with my life all because i saw the holy ghost and i said holy spirit i am weak i am dull in myself I'm not condemning myself. It's the truth. I am ignorant. I may not even have the strength. 
but if for any reason you can hold my hand i am available just that one decision turned my life around i shared with you about my dream and vision you will get it in different messages i can't remember when i preached exactly that i saw a whole generation of people crying and they were saying there was no food no water and i wanted to go and rescue them but i was weak in myself but then i was determined to go out the moment i stepped out there was a giant mighty man he just held my hands and said let's go and if our god is for us then help me stop us and if our god is with us then sing one more time and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us then prophesy to yourself For the last time now. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand us? and sisters, catch what I teach you and watch your enemies criticize you and waste their time. There is nothing that can be done about a man who the Holy Ghost has held his hand. Nothing. It's too late once the holy ghost holds your hand and says let's go you will climb mountains and walk through valleys when the door settles you are still standing and you will say to you be all the glory and men will say how are you doing it it's not by charms it's not by brain work this is not a plus b no you see that i treasure the holy spirit so much to a point that many people just say oh this 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 spirit thing is too much just focus on the word you keep doing it that way and see whether your destiny will be open i believe in the word but the word is useless until the spirit breathes upon it he is the one who gives life to the word the first the first person of the godhead revealed was him not the word the word came after he was revealed in the beginning look at the order God created the heavens and the earth. We didn't have an opportunity to see how that happened. In verse 2, there was darkness. Then the first of the Godhead. If he was the first in the creation of earth, he must be the first in your life too. He's showing you how to come out of chaos. Many of us just stand religiously. Acts chapter this, John chapter this, and we keep jumping around. And the Holy Spirit says, no, it is sealed. That's why an unbeliever will carry the Bible and all he will see is a compendium of controversies. You will see things that don't add up in scripture. God saying this one and God saying another thing and saying, uh -uh, God says doesn't lie. See how many lies he made because you are reading what is sealed. But when the spirit of truth comes, he will open your eyes. Others are looking but you are seeing all of a sudden. You will see something others are not seeing. And then you will walk in a dimension they are not working in. I cried to God and said, Lord, this man is a weak man. You have to help me. And the Lord said he will help me. And all of a sudden, my life changed. I'm introducing to you not just a book, you have it. I'm introducing to you not just tongues, you can pray in tongues. I'm introducing to you not just God in you, you have him in you. I'm introducing to you what Yongicho will call Holy Spirit, my senior partner. If anyone ever tells you what is the secret behind Apostle's life, if you say prayer, you are lying. If you say Bible study, you are lying. If you say worship, you are lying. If you say sacrifice, you are lying. All of those are secrets. The greatest secret is that a weak man holds a strong God who makes that weak man a strong man. That's what God can do. That's what God can do. The treasure that is in earthen vessel, but held by a superior power that no force, no cause, no witch, no devil can stop. 
he told joshua no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life brothers and sisters don't you see it you have been trying in the flesh you have been doing oh i i think if i if i buy one golf now and i do this and i understand this and that investment i will rise and the holy ghost just stands back and watches the ignorance and you, I, I know let me just get one golf i will be getting ten ten thousand every week i'm a smart businessman then if i get another job in the bank as you are calculating it i'm not saying those things are useless but here he stands the gentle spirit watching your ignorance and your pride punish you how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you run when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? Power at work in you, change. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little here. Still no day will is at work. Holy God, you're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. Hey, you're the Holy Ghost, Center of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Seal of the Age to come. You're changing. to me that's the secret no matter how dull you think you are no matter what village let them laugh at you while you walk many people laughed at me years ago for holding his hands they laughed and today they bury their head in shame for holding my hand the holy ghost is not a president of a nation the holy ghost is not the ceo of a bank the one who turned chaos in Genesis 1 verse 2 to light holds your hand and someone laughs at you what pride when he held my hands I knew nothing about the anointing when he held my hands I knew I had no zero wisdom you were better than me when he held my hands I wasn't as smart as you but I was stupid enough to hold him and said no matter what it is i hold your hands i hold your hands he will hold your hand as you go to the nations people will talk and say let's watch what will become of him and swallow their words after many years because there is a hand there is a grace he is the creative power behind this ministry the wisdom you see is not the wisdom of a man you will read books and read books and read books and be tired and never find it because it is a is sealed are we together sealed all of the things i do today about the anointing he taught me how could i have known how old am i aren't you seeing that what what is happening is more ancient ancient this is not the wisdom of a man Kadosh. Kadosh. you are mighty on
for me to celebrate things like birthdays. What, what are you celebrating? Who are you really celebrating? Take him out of my life and the secret of a foolish man outside of him is revealed. But when he stands with you thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Listen, I say it again. There is nothing you can do with a man that the Holy Ghost has held his hands. No, sir. No, sir. It's a grand formula for victory. When he came upon Jesus, he turned Jesus to Christos, the Christ. Jesus was just a carpenter's son. Just anyone on the street. But when the Holy Ghost came, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, when he comes to your business, he will change it in a way that will surprise you. The spirit of truth. When it comes to your ministry. Listen, let me tell you this. I never, listen. I never stop getting amazed at the formula people invent in hope that will work out whether for ministry or whatever. I teach you principles here. But principles will never replace presence. Principles only become useful when presence is intact. God is not science. Listen, oh brilliant people. I may not be as smart as you. And I beg your pardon. But if it has to do with victory in this life, someone must hold your hands. And someone must show you. The physical principle of fatherhood should teach us that you never rise alone. Someone must hold your hands and lift you. We have ignored the Holy Spirit because of the embarrassment that follows walking with Him. Oh, I tell you, there is big embarrassment walking with Him because your way will not be the regular way of people. Because your life will not be within the context of others. But if you can be foolish to still stay and say, Holy Spirit, where will I go to? Jesus said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? You alone have the key. I have watched people mock God I have they have not mocked God by mocking God directly they have mocked God by mocking his wisdom ah. there are people looking for anointing reading books getting all kinds of formula do a plus B add C to it then the power of God will move let me tell you this I say this by the authority of the kingdom you are wasting your time God is not a herbalist. It's only a herbalist you can receive charm from without a relationship. But when it comes to God, He will not show you power first. He will reveal Himself. Moses wanted to see His glory. He said, no, 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 Moses. I am that I am. Let's, let's discuss first. Every promise God made to me, I have watched it come to pass. As at the time He said it, I never knew how it will happen but God when he speaks be foolish enough to believe that Lord you are able God is able to do strings just what he said he will do he's got us for Oh, 
mighty God who has the ability to make all things happen. We pray, Lord. happen how old are you to make c happen a plus b does not guarantee c in this life the person to make c happen can die but when god holds your hand anything plus anything can become anything doesn't make sense look at this the dear pastor comes and all of a sudden a hand is laid on him it's not a hand that is laid on him it's more than a hand my brother if it's just laying on of hands you go and do it a hand is laid he carries that possibility enters a land that was not favoring him and all of a sudden things start changing I am a blessing to you and to the world today simply because of his ability to help me. Ebenezer is my testimony. I am a man who has been helped by God. Helped in every way by God. Ah, he said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, with the enemies that fool the world, with the enemies of the gospel, where do you stand when God does not hold your hand? The results that we now celebrate glory be to god but they are products of him listen if you think good preaching is what is going to give you influence forever save johnny i wish you the best of luck go and search the bible and search history and find people like alexander the who communicated mysteries that at the end of their lives they were almost committing suicide because even if knowledge abound, they will cease. Knowledge will cease. All of these things will cease. But when you want to become indestructible in this life, hold his hands. And do what he tells you to do. And walk with him. Don't command him. And say, Holy Spirit, my boy, go and bring me money. That's what many of you are doing. Holy Spirit, my boy, go and bring me my wife. Go and bring me my husband. Go and bring me members. Go and bring me prosperity. And he says, when I came to you, was I a tenant or the landlord? The word of God, the Holy Ghost was given to us, among other things, to unseal this. For many years, I read my Bible. Did you know, for many years, there were times that I would not even read my Bible for a while. I would just carry the devotional, repent and read it. Do you know why many of you open the Bible and it worries you? You are looking at it, but you are reading something that is sealed. That's why you cannot get life from it. You will open today, you don't know what to read. No, not when he's guiding you. Tonight, we are going to pray. We are going to take serious time we are going to pray and embrace afresh his ministry in your life his person in your life he is the secret whether you are a businessman whether you are a husband you are a wife you are a man of God you are a woman of God the starting point of your victory is hinged on your passion and your love for him listen let me tell you this before we begin to pray. Listen to me carefully. 
when I was writing the things that I now do that the Holy Spirit was revealing to me at a point in time I just sat down and I said Holy Spirit you must be joking is this it this foolish I think I'm smart the thing with God is the Spirit of God is very gentle the moment you begin to interrupt his wisdom with your I too know mentality he just steps back you do it your way go ahead and do it your way some things in our lives are not just an attack is us alone without him whether satan was existing or not is the same trouble you would have that is the natural consequence of ignoring him i love him so much koinonia is built on intimacy with the holy spirit he's the one who has given the word of god value look at what the messages are doing around the world do you think that is just because the message is so powerful no if he holds your hand he holds your finances he holds whatever comes from you someone called me the other day and said they were inside a taxi a cab and the cabman every time he picks you he, he, his own gift to you is that he will play one koinonia message i don't know the cabman and he just continued like that there are people who have met angels who gave them koinonia messages not human beings they entered meetings and gave them messages i i was I, true to, to god i don't share all these testimonies i was told of someone who bought a memory card new memory card new brand new memory card slotted it in his phone and all he saw was koinonia message new memory card with seal seal he opened it I'm not lying to you a pastor from Gambia a great a great man of God from Gambia we spoke yesterday he said he was so depressed and he got to a point where he was washing plates in his house and he didn't know what to do and all of a sudden he said in, he just went on YouTube and how he got across one teaching and as soon as he got that one teaching his life changed he said by next Sunday the church changed and exploded he saw the manifestations of the spirit the word seeds were coming and he said who is this he introduced it to his wife the wife listened to the same message he did the wife didn't know the message he had listened to but she went to search on her own and listened to the same message you had the pastor that came last week from abuja just arriving here someone calls him to buy 300 shares it's not the work of a man no sir our parents are struggling now and suffering because they have embraced every other thing except him our our world is dying because we have ignored him don't join them don't join them to ignore him already your past the family background you came from is already a disadvantage on its own the only advantage in your life is him when you find him he will forget about your enemies forget about critics i'm telling you don't waste your time just leave all those things stay with him let him hold your hand my brother my sister and watch what he will do with your church and watch what he will do with your business and watch what he will do you may be crying while you are holding him i guarantee you the cry of pain will soon become the cry of joy you just hold his hands worship him hold his hands as you sing don't carry skill and a nice voice alone we live in a wicked world if all you carry is a nice voice you will not last one year human beings will suck you like an orange and throw you and look for the next happening thing but you remain fresh when you hold him impossible to be ignored impossible to be ignored he's gonna fulfill every My God is able. He truly is able. Listen. Look at me. In Nigeria today, an average young man cannot get established without some kind of bribe, 
or some kind of thing to have to corner and lie and do something you want to walk in integrity and righteousness the environment is already hostile against you the fact that you name the name of christ alone is trouble for you they will hate you at your workplace hate you everywhere what then is your advantage your advantage is not just the miracles that he brings the advantage is him if you can hold his hands and say holy spirit i am weak i confess my ignorance i don't know so much i know that if i try to be established my way the church will never grow the influence will never grow but i submit to you you are the fountain of wisdom you are the spirit of truth open up to me and then the holy ghost will say all right you step back and then he will show you a b c and your life changes you will stand as shocked as those looking at you and just nod your head and say god what are you doing i hardly share my testimonies i had to minimize it because of wisdom and so that it can encourage people to rise there are things brothers and sisters if i tell you some of you will not sleep i myself the recipient of that testimony sometimes i wake up in the night and just sit on my bed and say lord what is this what is this Halakbara, you are the mighty god hey, That song had been in my spirit for throughout last week. I don't know how to sing. You are going to sing that song. After it, we are going to take our time and pray. Help us, please. Jesus said, Jesus said, asking for anything we are going to take our time and pray in the spirit one of the mysteries that we were given to accessing the mind of God is praying in the spirit I like you to take out time and just blast in tongues and pray seriously in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere inside outside those online follow us as we pray Shake it in the 
foolishness I come in with my limitations and I come to you you are the only one who can make meaning out of my life I come to you lift your voice and pray and cry cry ah. for his presence in your life you're tired of things not working in your life and cry for his wisdom cry for his wisdom Cry for his wisdom. 
Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I'm tired of making I ask for your will. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of truth. Come, Spirit of truth. Hey, Shanana Nabakosa. Palabana Bakosa. Zeketeli Gada. In Zeketele Bakosa. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Then the secret was revealed Daniel did not find it then the secret was revealed then the secret was revealed I don't know what area in your life you need to see the hand of God desperately I like you to open your mouth and say Lord show me there has to be a secret open up this scripture hey open up this scripture you are the custodian of the wisdom of God. You are the custodian of truth. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me the secret to the anointing. Show me to the secret to increase. The secret to ever increasing fire. The secret to spiritual power. The secret to influence. The secret to activating my destiny. Show me, O oh God. The book is sealed. Open my eyes. 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 What must I do to prosper? What must I do to rise? What is the key in the spirit? What is the key in the spirit? Listen, look up. When Jesus, watch this. When Jesus was transfigured, he showed us the secret to his transfiguration by the appearance of two men. The law and the prophet not just the law of old testament that if you want to be transfigured the principles of the kingdom and the ministry of the prophetic standing side by side like moses and the prophet becomes your key to rising when jesus was transfigured we saw two men elijah did not appear enoch did not appear because they were not responsible they were not the spiritual mysteries the Bible says that Moses, Moses stood on one side and Elijah, I meant to say, sorry. Ezekiel and other prophets did not appear. Elijah was standing representing the prophetic. Moses was representing the law. And he said, the book that contains those laws, don't let it depart. He's showing you how to succeed. Jesus did not just rise like that. The law, not just the law of the Old Testament the precepts of God you can have all the principles but there is no prophetic voice and you remain there no glory you can do something that should prosper because there is obedience to principles but there is no voice it's like ingredients if you have rice you don't need as much tomato as you need rice but don't put the tomato and see you can't say you have jollof rice because of that small tomato including salt 
sometimes you you need one mutu of rice and then a few spoons of salt but you refuse to put that salt and see how it will mess up the whole food something you may be missing because your eyes have not been opened you've done everything but the last key to just strike it and open it that's what I keep doing all the time that's what I keep doing all the time when I speak over your life I'm not repeating myself when I speak over your life I'm standing to fulfill all righteousness in the spirit by the wisdom of the spirit I've taught you that Jesus walked under a close heaven for 30 years as the word of God until a prophet came to his life and spoke and baptized him immersed him and his heavens were open if Jesus operated and opened heavens for 30 years till he met John the Baptist in the spirit and power of Elijah your destiny will close almost forever until there is a voice listen listen I want you to get to a point in your life where you no longer fight spiritual realities the earlier you learn this the better for you do it before you start having children do it before it gets too bad because darkness for sure is covering the earth and gross darkness the people but upon you the glory of God will continue to arise it's not just because you are a man of God we trade secrets in this kingdom to stand and one of it is the Holy Spirit holding you but not just holding you opening to you the mysteries of the kingdom continue to read your Bible but don't think you will find it just by reading you will get to a point where he will give you the eyes to see they are life to those who find them that means he's missing no until he opens it to you I found certain things in my life it was Bishop Oyedepo that shared with us that he found the key to kingdom prosperity and he spin round and shouted yeah I can never be poor I'm sure people laughed at him but you found it if you found it you found it I want you to succeed I want you to excel I'm showing you the precepts of the kingdom listen take luck out of it don't call what you don't understand luck that's arrogance there is a very serious dynamic working that you are not aware does not mean nothing is being engaged you will see what will begin to happen to your life shortly when men say why is it happening like this don't lie that you don't know what you did yes it is it is the lord's doing that's why it is marvelous a man's doing cannot be marvelous in your eyes a man's doing is natural that's why i don't clap for you for walking because it's a man's doing men walk naturally born again or not but there are results that when we see we know that this one is the finger of god rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do this except god be with him it's a message i want you to carry to everyone you love jesus said come on to me are you seeing now come on does not wisdom cry come on to me why will you continue to suffer and struggle listen i'm bringing us to a point where we fulfill proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not is giving you a word of caution oh wise man lean not on your own understanding he says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path he said be not wise in your own understanding verse 7 he said fear the lord and turn away from evil it is because we are wise in our own understanding if god does not lead me i don't have where to go i don't trust what i can do I will mislead people with my ignorance but when he comes you can dare the unbearable you can stand and look at Goliath
and say Goliath you come against me with your bows and your spheres but I come against you in the name of the Lord God the captain of the host of heaven whom you have defied and Goliath you don't mind him while he's talking am I a dog that you are coming with a sling say just keep watching is the same way God can give you an instruction by the Holy Ghost you've been dancing all the time but the Holy Ghost will wake you by two and say just dance to 2 30 it's not the ordinary dance you just finish dancing that dance will give you twins that dance will give you an estate and if people ask you how did you get it you say I dance they say please don't turn us into idiots how did you get it I know you did all those church things I said well, should I lie I'm telling you how I did it the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom I want to release my faith with you in one minute I want you to be sensitive to from today till Sunday but I want you to ask the Lord for three major things that you want to see done in your life things that don't ask for small things carnal things ask for something that is destiny shifting ask for something that that is able you know Elisha had no business Gehazi had no business ha having his eyes open but when he was close to Elisha the prophet he said I'm not seeing what you are seeing and he said okay let me make your eyes see he didn't say just mm -hmm. take advantage of my spiritual climate and see what I'm seeing a man came in the midst of Samuel where a prophet was and all of a sudden the hand of God was upon him he prophesied naked from morning till night not because he had been praying and fasting people have prophetic implications everybody walks with the spiritual climate that they carry I want you to be humble enough to pray and ask God some of you is your family you are crying for an intervention that must step in I'm going to give you the next let's use the next five minutes I truly am going to be interceding for you I'm not praying for myself I just want you to pray and agree lift your voice and pray don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time go ahead and pray hallelujah listen you are going to pray but many of you i am you're not you're not it's not the zest of prayer let me tell you something they met the disciples of jesus and say why don't these guys fast we are fasting and these guys are eating yet they are getting the results we are not getting and jesus said for as long as the bridegroom is there so there is something the presence of the bridegroom can do there is an advantage you can take the bridegroom is the one who the marriage feast is for are we together now the covenant of the marriage is with the bridegroom but because you are supporting through a covenant of alignment he's saying there are some things that you may not need to do when the bridegroom is not there in other words i'm not ignoring that principle it is what you should have done except for the fact that another presence was introduced that can immune you from it i needed to share that scripture just to help you there are some things that ordinarily that's the way you are supposed to do but god brings men to your life that you can take advantage of and expedite your journey ordinarily the disciples were to fast jesus said i'm not fighting fasting they will fast one day but for now as long as i am here uh -uh. there are people that when you are around i know people that just because you are around them you may never need, read any book on finances i'm telling you sincerely except you just want to add to your knowledge the least the their their greatest state is still higher than your greatest dream their presence if you meet prince charles and prince harry and say i just got you a book on five levels of wealth he will congratulate you for being that courageous to enter the buckingham palace and say walk out of this place do you know why because as long as they are in the palace if they are out of the palace they will do a lot of reading 
but as long as they are in the palace i teach you mysteries always find out what advantage you have based on who you are connected to not just god alone there are some things you are doing that if you have knowledge you should not be doing you should have others may be doing it if i'm a pastor in living faith today I, there are some things i should not do if i'm a pastor in mfm today and i have problem with my prayer life i think something is wrong there is a grace i should drink from freely if i'm not a pastor in that place i may need to dissipate some energy but when god calls men he calls men with certain possibilities and when you come within that covering that thing should work for you i keep drumming this thing but many people don't get it it's true it's true find out those who are genuinely connected to this anointing there are things they before they even learned the principle the result was already speaking it's true as long as the bridegroom is there you are immune when the bridegroom leaves so you can learn the principle so that you are not just dependent helplessly on the bridegroom but you can take advantage of the presence of the bridegroom you can carry a handkerchief from Benihim and put in your pocket and enter a meeting and be surprised yourself at what is happening simply because you made contact do you not see that God will be wicked to allow you pray for everything no I don't pray for everything in my life there are things that you can get Jacob and Esau those two guys they were not praying for the blessing they were connected to a lineage that had it the father didn't say okay you guys he said just go and make me venison let me release something on you look at this Esau did not receive the blessing yet see the prosperity that came the fact that he came out physically that's why Ishmael today will the residue of that prophecy must always follow him there are things that should happen in your life my brother my sister there are some things that god has done for you already walking trying to save yourself from sin by your strength is unnecessary it was done by those who the bridegroom did not come for so they use the blood of bulls but now christ has come and that sacrifice that you just receive that's the same way there are other things that has been done he gave gifts to men to ease their journey there are things in life are you ready to pray our time is gone i want you to open your mouth and pray pray unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come the bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet he shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man he shall receive a righteous man's reward Pray. Shapa koto sopra da kashubi ada baladaba. The Bible says, "May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Send thee help from Zion." Abalado sada bakato she ada balakotiya. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. Pray believing. Pray believing.
who are down mountain before Zerubbabel who are down mountain before this man of God who are down mountain before this woman of God who are down mountain before this family who are down mountain before this business who are thou mountain hallelujah Jesus looked at Peter and said Peter Satan desired to sift you like wheat but he said but I have prayed for you if he could pray for himself on that issue Jesus would not need to pray God doesn't need to do for you what you can do for yourself are we together he said Satan has desired to sift you like wheat he said but I have prayed for you what was the content of the prayer that thy faith fail not he said and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren how do you strengthen them by teaching them that there are some things you cannot do for yourself and when you find what you cannot do for yourself find the grace that can make it happen for you peter i see you in a situation now i see that your capacity not go far enough to give you that miracle so i came in for you in this similitude advocate this mystery when you see people trying things and it's not working tell them stop 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 in this kingdom is all right to be helped find a grace peter satan desire to sift you like wheat and as far as your level is concerned Satan would have, he already had a headway, but I came in Kabbalah and prayed for you that your faith fail not. He said, when you are strengthened, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, one of the most uncomfortable things for believers to learn, especially because of the teachings that we've had. Um, of course, the Bible says you can do all things, I believe. The Bible says that because of the provisions that God has put in the kingdom. Are we together now? Yes. When I say I will serve you jollof rice, it's not just because I can cook. It's because there is a way of getting it available. The most important thing is that you have it. So when the Bible says all things are possible, it's because of the possibilities he invested within the kingdom. Are we together? One of it, one of the mysteries that make all things possible is the ability to tap from higher graces you are getting there one day but if God is to allow you get there before you get the result Satan will eat you up before you get there are we together so Jesus as a baby could not pray for himself so God put a grace in Hannah the prophetess to continue interceding until he would grow in wisdom as a baby he was killable so God had to put men to agree. When he became strong, he started standing for others. When the disciples were weak in themselves, Jesus stood for them. When they became strong, they stood for others too. That's how it works in the kingdom. Believe all the possibilities of the Bible, but be sincere enough to know what possibilities are available at your level of grace. And then you are able to find the grace and the anointing that can supplement. Otherwise, you will stand in pride believing all things are possible. And it may not work for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people. As inspired by you, I have I've asked them to pray. Lord, you hear me when I call. In the name that is above all names surprise them in the name that is above all names I declare from today 
until Monday that God has made my birthday in the name that is above all names help them please I'm declaring that all those who are connected to this ministry all those who are connected to this vision and connected to this anointing enter a level of strange wonders strange wonders strange wonders listen hallelujah you see i'm sharing with you many mysteries tonight hold on i'm praying for you bad days are times when unusual requests are granted read your bible there were certain requests that only happen at bad days when a king was celebrating his birthday a girl danced before him ordinarily the king would not remove the head of a prophet but on a birthday season something happened when jesus was about to be born star that would not shine that much unusually came to the sky because a child was about to be born listen this kingdom is governed by mysteries bad days are not just the days when men are born bad days are signified by things in the spirit those who study scientology know those who study all of these things know except that man is not relevant to the program of god the same way covenants are enacted 25th december let everybody die in this family by 24th someone starts getting sick because 25th is coming are you seeing and 25th a father dies next year 20th the spirit that is responsible for activating that covenant comes around again and someone starts falling sick so it is bad days are not just a celebration of the day a man was born a whole prophet had his head removed by a small girl could the king have granted her that request ordinarily what would she be doing in the presence of a king but because it was the king's birthday if you understand what i'm teaching you i'm saying this so that those hearing especially online will not say is this man idolizing this you know sometimes i'm even a bit scared to share some of these things because I, I, I want to make sure that I am understood so that people don't say I'm making you maybe worship a man or something. No, I fear God, but this is how this kingdom works. So I pray again that between now and Monday the 25th, in the name that is above all names, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, and by the power that backs up this ministry the grace that has helped me in the name of Jesus may my God bring strange signs and wonders to your life strange signs and wonders in your finances strange signs and wonders in your life I speak to you that the things that were difficult for you before in a way that will surprise you you will enter a dimension of ease in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that this prophetic word be signified by the angels of the Lord and let there be a strange performance testimonies after testimonies hallelujah when the legal claims of justice were made Paul reveals to us by the spirit that Jesus made a public show of them triumphing over them and one of the things he got in hell so there can be keys in hell and you will need to go down to hell to get some keys <laughs> sometimes you will need to go down to come up with keys jesus descended before he ascended so you will rise up by going down are we together now and he collected the keys and in revelations he said i am he that was dead but now i am alive and i hold the keys the coronation service only happened when he went through this we are going to pray tonight there is a glory that excels i bring you a very powerful mystery 
the glory that excels romans chapter 12 and verse 1 i beseech thee brethren who is he talking to brethren not unbelievers i beseech thee brethren by the mercies of god that you do what offer offer your bodies as a not a sacrifice a living sacrifice let me tell you what that means a sacrifice that remains a sacrifice when a sacrifice dies it stops being a sacrifice it's over the real sacrifice was the life of that object so when the life goes there's no more sacrifice it is the process of extracting life from that thing that is the sacrifice now he says you are a sacrifice you are alive but it's a posture you will continue to take holy and acceptable unto god and he says it's your reasonable act of worship i have found this key from the day i found this key i stopped being afraid of pain i stopped being afraid of sacrifice i became friends with it and i found out that in that darkness that's where light comes from god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness not into darkness out of darkness darkness is the mother that gives birth to light and the evening came and the morning and the evening came and the morning let me encourage you listen to me listen to me very carefully be careful so that you don't judge things from the standpoint of men there are certain things that you may be passing through that you may think these things are happening just because of unbelief i told you that faith doesn't always receive it also takes faith to release you lose things too by faith by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice there were women who their children died and instead of them to raise them back they said no problem let them go and the bible calls it faith read it it's not everybody who brought their child back to life that were called men of faith others died do you know why plants grow because they subscribe to this same principle death and glory when you carry a seed and throw it on the earth what happens you studied agri what happens the life is in the death jakes you come back after two days if you open it you will see that there is no more beauty there is no beauty in the grave there is no comeliness there is only the death that brings resurrection and notice what happens the first thing that happens is some process of decay and even degradation and then out of the rottenness it begins to open it's deshaping as bad as it is it's making room for something new and sometimes it can be so bad that part of the old one will come out too with a new one and you can look at it and know this is the dead seed and this is the one that grows I wish I can tell you the glory of God comes just by speaking and saying receive grace there are you want to be given the keys of a nation my brother and my sister there is a track record there is a scar there is a testament of death that must happen I presume we are going to pray tonight because it looks like we are in a funeral service You know what you do in a funeral service you dig the ground and you carry the dead body and throw it in but when you throw the body in the funeral service you don't expect it to come out but what we're engaging tonight is a mystery that when you are thrown in the grave then you are ready to come out after a few days of silence suddenly suddenly you begin to shoot against gravity with another life and that small tiny seed will now become a tree that birds will come and nest 
they will be grateful that you paid the price every food you eat today is because a seed volunteered to die listen to me carefully if seeds stop dying you stop rising too the reason why we continue to live is because there are seeds that are dying they died last year the moment rain starts falling isn't it amazing that when rain starts falling that's the right time for the seed to die seeds die during rain rain that should give life but that's when seeds die and then life comes from it we're going to pray in the next 10 minutes it's going to be a general prayer before i lead you find whatever corner outside this is you and god just play worship for us and you are going to say lord the death that must turn me into a new wine skin let it happen to me tonight the death that must happen oh god for the glory that this generation is waiting for don't be afraid the sacrifice lord you are calling me to be a prophet to the nations but there is a level of death Pray. This is between you and God. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy love. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy Pray. Pray. Sila barakata jina na malana matuli anara. Era ba she na na ma she na 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 na. Era na na he na 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 he na 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 he. Lira sabaru jalis kamanda brati gala shobras kadi alhasa. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. But whoever loses it for my sake will gain it. We gain things in this kingdom by losing them. Halabaranda zana kaparuza seketazi ana kaparuza sea. Ira balana ba, ira ra ra ra, ira ra ra ra, ira ra ra ra. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Are there people praying tonight? Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Walk through me, yeah. live through me. Shena matala namasya. Oh, come with the refiner's fire. Come with the refiner's fire. Come with the refiner's fire. 
come with the refiner's fire. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. As the deer pants after the water brook, find a generation, my king. Find a generation that desires you more than life, more than wisdom, more than money, more than power. Find for yourself a bride adorned in her beauty. everything turn me oh god to the wine skin that will host your power in this generation turn me oh god to the wine skin that will host the end time anointing for miracles for wealth for signs for wonders Yeshua, Hamashiach, come in and come. Yeshua, Hamashiach, come in and come. Come in and come. Come in and come. Come in and come. Komina na kane, Yeshua Hamashiach. Komina na kane, Yeshua Hamashiach. Komina na kane, Komina na kane, Komina na kane. Komina na kane, Komina na kane, Yeshua Hamashiach. Komina na kane, Yeshua Hamashiach. 
Two or three more minutes. But in a great house, there are vessels of gold and of silver, of wood and of clay. Some are unto honor and others are unto dishonor. belongs to you hey oh me na na ye shuwa amashiga ye shuwa amashiga ye ye shuwa amashiga Yeshua, 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 You see, my brothers and my sisters, one of the assignments of fire the primary purpose of fire was not just for demons it was for the saints it is the fire of the holy spirit it's not just holy ghost fire demons the fire not only refines not only purifies it can melt completely and then remold again it is not every time the fire comes to just purify sometimes that whole vessel needs to melt down for something new to come it is not every time god comes to adjust the old sometimes he comes to immerse you into his fire then remold you as something that has never been before Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Komina Nakane. I like you tonight to pray, Lord. Whatever took your place in my life, please return to your resting place. Is someone praying tonight? I don't know how it got there but in this season arise majesty return to your resting place hey, hey, hey. arise my god return to your place of rest Yeshua, for some of us is friends some of us is the obsession to succeed 
some of us is the obsession to be in ministry whatever has taken its place please dethrone it this night dethrone it this night for some of us it's money that took his place reputation ego revelation the quest for the anointing in this season let me tell you the new wine of the spirit is moving from nation to nation from continent to continent finding the vessels that have the space there are all kinds of mantles graces that have not been seen before but they are searching for a new wine skin you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin you cannot put a new prophetic wine in an old prophetic wine skin a new apostolic wine in an old apostolic wine skin a new territorial wine in an old territorial wine skin let us leave the old and press for the new press for the new press for the new pray just one more minute and then we'll pray corporately that's why we came tonight without new wine you cannot have the new songs without new wine you cannot have the new sermons you will keep recycling the old copying from man of god to man of god it will take new wine to understand the rhythm of the spirit hallelujah praise the lord listen to me we have a few more minutes just a few minutes and then we'll stop acts chapter 26 and verse 22 there are times in your life listen where because of the kind of glory that is coming no matter how you release yourself you will still not have the capacity you will need to cry for an assistance from heaven he says having therefore obtained help of god i continue unto this day the reason i'm still standing from glory to glory i saturated my effort at a point but having obtained help from god i continue to this day having obtained help from god in the apostolic ministry in the prophetic ministry in the pursuit to bring the wealth of the kingdom to the saints in the pursuit to doing this and that whatever it is there are times when you stretch yourself to the limit and it still cannot make for the size of the glory you will need to turn to the helper of zion it says having therefore obtained help of god i continue it takes the help of god to keep going there are times you will reach your elastic limit you will stretch and break to pieces you will still not meet god's standard is someone ready to cry for help from heaven lord assist me assist me let 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 the divine help the alignment it will take to command the wealth of the kingdom in this season lord assist me there is only so much i can do 
the alignment that will be required to carry the apostolic and the prophetic grace i cry for help having obtained help from god i continue god is the helper of men god can help you he can help you rise he can help you stand he can help you reign he can help you conquer he has not stopped being the helper the holy spirit is called the helper hallelujah hallelujah please pair yourselves in twos if you can just hold someone those under the anointing or just alone just leave them but hold your hands you are going to cry to heaven agreeing with that person say lord a superior realm of results a new dimension of grace glory that is all encompassing i receive it agree 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 with somebody pray outside pray those online pray this is the season oh god of the glory that excels in ministry in business the glory that excels the glory that excels the weightiness the desirability that excels that i become the desire of nations i become the desire of kings please pray Rapa papa ruto totos Endere ketos kelebash Rakata paruto shobregede Prato sosi dabiash E prakato sese zekata Zom paruta sopragede baladaba En prokoto shekete lebarash Alleluia Alleluia Psalm 45 verse 12 I believe it is the Lord just put it in my heart this is the level that God is taking us to I hope you remember the teaching I did about Tyre and Sidon the marketplace of the earth where the exchange is made it says and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift he says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor there is an investment of the spirit that comes upon your life listen i want to show you how this relates to extraordinary fruitfulness there are realms where you will not beg and search for your sacrifice and your investment will cause nobles to come with what you would have looked for the daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. The gift you would have been searching for. And then the rich among the people, not the poor. There is a grace because you left looking for the glory of wealth to seek his face. He will cause those who have the glory of the wealth to come to entreat your favor. Listen, that means wealth is not favor because there is a favor that even the rich are looking for what is it they are not coming to just look at you there is something money cannot buy the rich will entreat your favor they will come to you and it will be a privilege to give them audience i like you to pray and say lord on account of the glory you are putting upon my life even in this season 
let the daughter of Tyre begin to come with her gift and let the kings of these systems come with their treasures to entreat my favor please lift your voice and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding because I have subscribed to the glory that comes from your face not the glory that comes from wealth not the glory that comes from human wisdom not the glory that comes from human might the glory that comes from knowing you let the daughter of Tyre come with her gift let the nobles of the earth begin to entreat my favor pray for koinonia in this season kings coming to entreat your favor hallelujah the bible says that a time will come when seven virgins it was a prophetic statement seven virgins will hold on to one man that spiritual jew they are not holding on to him just because he's handsome there is something that the tribe he comes from carries and seven dimensions that have not been seen come to you and say we want to be part of your life we want to be featured in your destiny such a force of attraction such a force of attraction dimensions that have never been seen they will come and latch on to you father whatever is for me in this season by the grace you are putting on my life it must be attracted to me in this season lift your voice and pray like a believer you are placing an anointing you are placing a grace and a glory you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory you are my glory you are my inheritance hallelujah hallelujah time will fail me to share with you the testimonies of the level of ease that your life will step into when you truly carry the glory of God the glory of God is a voice it can speak it can speak to kings that the things you once desired will come to you at a platter because his glory is upon you he says arise shine for your light has come not just that the glory of the lord is risen upon you the glory that excels this is the glory that will humble the arrogance of the kings of the earth if all you look for is money you will be like them if all you look for is human scientific wisdom you will be like them if all you look for is human systems of fortification but press for his face understand his ways and let him invest upon you a glory that excels and you will watch with wonder the way God will draw glory out of your life there are new and strange kinds of anointings that are coming upon the body of Christ there are new and strange dimensions of the workings of the spirit as has never been seen the times and the seasons already signify it and our own is just to say maranatha come lord come with all of these things come come the body of christ is stepping into certain offices certain levels of spiritual possibilities 
that Micah 4 prophecy of the church ascending we will humble the pride of kings the church is not a nuisance to civilization no God is giving us a voice that cannot be silenced a voice that not the rich will ignore the poor will not ignore politicians will not ignore but our price is to become the new wine skin that can carry that new wine and when the new wine finds a resting place then there is no limit to what you can do let me round up when the feast was about to finish and jesus turned water to wine the first to taste of that wine were the rulers of the ceremony listen carefully that wine was not designed for the general congregation the wine was a statement and so the attention of the kings they were the first to taste of the wine all other kinds of wines could be taken by everyone but the kings took it and they said where did you get this people bring the best at the beginning but you have saved the last that means the investment that god is giving us is to subdue the gatekeepers of territories not just for things common no the gatekeepers of territories access to the heart of nobles because one 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 madman in gadara listen one madman in gadara is equivalent to 10 cities we don't have the time again to go one by one to every city no god will be giving us the madman in gadara and the woman by the well god is will use one person like an arrow from a man's quiver and hit nations with it that's what god is doing listen to me and hear what i'm saying again prophetically it will no longer be one by one go to this there's no time for that again so he will give us a grace one grace that can touch a voice that will make all other voices hear him that's territorial dominion it no longer will be people one by one it's a waste of time he will be taking us to the madmen at gadara for the sake of the decapolis he will be taking us to the women at the well for the sake of all who will come with her all those who have the voice of systems god will send us to them that is why we need a glory that is higher than what they have otherwise they will not hear the word of the lord upon you it was nicodemus that came to jesus by night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man not i know not i know not i know meaning that we have been watching you and we have seen that even though we don't have this we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things the mountain of the lord's house it will look like a dream until you see it happening until you see that god gives you the heart of kings and then you plant the seed of righteousness that in one day a nation can be saved because their kings are saved was it not in one day nebuchadnezzar signed a decree and said everywhere across babylon let the god of shadrach meshach and abednego that anyone who does not worship that god should be killed there are spectacular things that god will do to men that will change men i'm available oh. i don't know about you but my heart is listen let me tell you the truth and i sincerely tell you this the concept of church as we know it is changing fast it will no longer just be a man of god and plenty people just no 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 it's going to be the level of access to territories 
that God will give you keys to territories men who will walk like gods upon the earth that you will speak and both your members and your non-members will be forced to hear because of what you hold this is what God is giving please I like you to be sensitive these seven days don't be casual we're, we're at the edge of the unfolding of a new move of God it's like a boiling pot that is already tilting and God is doing something very prophetic and very apostolic father we give you all the praise tonight we declare by the spirit of the living God that we are ready to be the carriers of this glory that excels the glory that will bring you much gain the glory that will make a man more priceless than a nation we pray oh God for the help that comes from you to go through the sacrifice of the transformation that will be required to make us new wineskins so that we will be able to effectively host this wine but we pray oh God Maranatha come let these dimensions come without hindrance we pray even for this house let this house as a corporate entity be transformed into a new wineskin thank God for what you have done before but we are ready to receive what you are doing now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ praise the Lord God bless you for staying tuned with us till this time in Genesis chapter 1 the Bible said God said let there be light how amazing it was that in a split of a second light came into the world I want you to believe it today through the mouth of his servant Apostle Joshua Selman under the spirit of the Lord that God is sending light to your life today everything that pertains to your life God is bringing light to them. God is sending light to that situation. God is sending light to that academics. God is sending light to that failed marriage. God is sending light to your children. God is sending light to your business. And whatsoever darkness that have encumbered your business, encumbered your family, encumbered your progress, your ministry, your career, your academics, once light comes upon it, I am assuring you that every hold and fetters of darkness will definitely lose their grip over whatsoever that has kept you down, especially your health. God is sending light to it. Remember, it is not a desire of God that we will fall sick, but His desire is that every one of us will be in good health, even as our souls prosper. So get set that as the light of the Lord hits your life, embrace that light because definitely darkness has no place in your life and if you are a new viewer on this channel we'd like you to please subscribe to reflector hub tv youtube channel so that you could get our daily uploads stay revived 247 and your spirit man sets a blaze on fire most importantly you will not miss heaven at the end of your christian journey upon the earth god bless you share this video with your loved ones family and friends see you in our next video love you